all gracious greetings, thanks to and family and guests. Welcome to another edition of Living Water for Thirsty Thursday. Do you hear that? Yeah, I know you can hear it. It sounds so serene. I also want you to hear this. Psalms 65, verse 6 and 7. That's what it says. Which by his strength set it fast the mountains, being girded with power, which stilleth the noise of the seas, the noise of their waves, and the tumult of people. How amazing is it that God himself can create the noise of the waves, that he can still that mountain in the background. At the same time, you can make that wave be quiet. What do you believe? That's the question. A God that can actually make waves make noise like you hear, that same God can make those waves be quiet. We also know scripture that says the winds also obey him. Well, people believe a lot of things. There's a whole lot of reasons to believe that there is a designer rather than chance. For instance, is it a chance that the speed of sound is like 700 some miles an hour? Yeah, that's pretty fast. Then when you think about the speed of light, the speed of light is like 186,000 miles per second. It's like 186,252. It's just a crazy number per second. You know, Pluto is far out. It is, it's billions of miles away. You know, from Earth, to Pluto, it would take light to travel from here to there. It would take 4.6 hours traveling at 186,000 miles per second. But the God we serve that's omniscient, that's omnipotent, and omnipresent is at Pluto and he's here simultaneously. So does that mean God moves faster than 186,000 miles per second plus? Or is God just so big that he's everywhere at the same time? And either way, you see, that is amazing. So really pushing you to think about what you believe and why. Because maybe somehow, possibly over time, that mountain formed itself, these waves formed themselves, our galaxy formed itself. All of these things over time fell in place. Oh, by the way, plus complex animals that are in that ocean that we don't even know about, that are literally as big as ships that we have made are underwater, breathing underwater all day long. Yeah, quite amazing. They have hearts. They have lungs that breathe underwater. All of the capacity that they have. Yes, maybe over time that just happened. But then you have to believe that is the way that it happened. But I'd like to believe that there is a designer. I'd like to believe that inside of a watch, even though man made it, with all those calls and parts and pieces, that there had to be a designer, just like there is a clock or a watch maker. Yes, uh, in theology, they talk about God being ex nihil, meaning out of nothing, he created everything because he, by himself, is everything. And before there was nothing, was, he is, because I am. 
who he says he is. So when we think about these things, I'm praying that uh, as we talk about what you believe in, remember last week we said, just the mustard seed of faith can move that mountain. Man, so all I have to do is believe and this mountain will be moved? Yeah, all I have to do is believe and issues in my marriage, and issues in my singleness, and issues in my health, and issues in my finance, man, they get worked out somehow. Sometimes it isn't that the issue gets resolved, it's that I, you, we get solved. But it starts with belief. It starts with faith. As we move into this next week at St. Stephen, our members know that faith is at the intersection of trust and belief. So it's not just believing, it's also trusting. We'll unpack that next week. Continue to make God proud. All say, think, and do. Just take a moment now to listen in on God's beautiful.